Hello, this is Gus Inglehorn. I'm here to take you through the recording process for death and transfiguration. For the sake of brevity, it will have to be an extremely condensed version, especially since we recorded the album three times before it finally worked out. The second time we tried to record it, we moved from Montreal to a cabin in the woods and constructed an analog studio in our basement with our friend. After months of toiling and many malfunctions, we threw in the towel and were forced to move out most of the equipment using a snowmobile and a homemade sleigh in the middle of winter. The whole experience shook me to the very core. In need of time to reflect, I headed for the city and eventually the graveyard. Once in the graveyard, I found myself pondering the nature of life and death itself. And I thought to myself, if we are only here for such a brief period of time, why not go for it? And at that moment, I found a new well spring of perseverance rising up inside of me. And shortly afterwards, by some sort of divine chance perhaps, a friend suggested the studio to me in Quebec City, Le Magnetophone. <laughs> we recorded the album over the course of five days, almost entirely live, while dubbing the bass lines, back vocals, and string parts afterwards. Yeah, that's you, that's what I'm talking about. And after all the trials we had been through, when we finally heard our songs played back to us, we were as happy as clams at high tide. We had finally accomplished our vision. <laughs>